Hi, I'm Angelique Fonz, and I'm going to be your guest host for this week's Horror Tree Roundup. Our first call today is Solar Punk Creatures and World Weaver Press is looking for stories that imagine and build better futures. They're looking for human-non-human relations and characters that we could define as a creature. Uh, they define it broadly, so depictions of wild animals, domestic ones, intelligent fungi, plastic-eating bacteria. This looks like a fun one. Dreamforge Magazine is opening up for submissions this fall, and they are one of my favorite markets. I've worked with Scott and Jane Knoll, and I'm part of their writing group, the Dreamcasters. And if you like to write fantasy or science fiction with hopeful endings, this is a perfect market to submit your story. If you're interested in trying out something different, there's Substack. It's a newsletter-based service, and they have a short story contest every month where the winning story gets $100. If you like to set your stories on worlds far, far away, why don't you try writing for Alien Dimensions? If it's on Earth, they don't want it. And they want aliens. Real aliens with tusks, tentacles, and blobby, leafy, electric silicon bits. You've got some time for this one. With the deadline of November 30th, Fable, an anthology of horror, suspense, and the supernatural, are looking for horror, mystery, crime, thriller, and or suspense stories. They can or cannot have supernatural elements. Midnight and Indigo are offering opportunities for black women writers. The theme is any genre, but they're looking specifically for character-driven stories that leave readers something to think about. Last but not least, Mirror World Publishing is open to novels and novellas. They're looking for all forms of speculative fiction and more. If you want to learn more about any of these calls, please visit HorrorTree.com. That's all for this week, folks. So keep writing. Keep visiting Horror Tree, and we'll see you later.